Hey there everyone and welcome back to the channel. Today we've got something super interesting for everyone that plays MGO because I'm going to be diving into the art of aiming in the game. So if you really need to improve your aim and get better at getting headshots, hopefully this video can help so you out. Probably spamming. Oh my god, what a shot. I am so sorry. Ah! The tricky part of MGO's aiming is that it's a little bit different than how other games do it. The sensitivity for both aiming and moving around are different even when maxed out. When you're not aiming, your camera moves around a lot quicker because it's zoomed further back instead of over the shoulder aim, which is a lot closer. MGS4 also has aim acceleration, meaning it goes faster over time as you push in one direction when using over the shoulder aim. So trying to find the right settings to be able to be comfortable controlling the camera with these various speeds in mind is the first thing you should do. Another thing to keep in mind is if you're having frame rate issues while playing the game, it will also affect your camera speed. As MGS games tend to have things like the game's speed tied to how many frames per second you're having. So what settings should you use? MGO doesn't have camera speeds where it becomes super unmanageable, so it's best to just be pretty high in the sensitivity settings. For me, I usually keep it at 8. I think it's pretty good to where you can still point out individuals and can pre-aim without going off target and have everything start blurring together because you're moving too fast. It should feel smooth to aim and you should be able to control it and stop on a dime. But if you can handle higher speeds, then give it a shot. There is a method to practice to be able to see if you can handle it well. So how do you practice? A method of to practice getting better at your aim is to just go into training mode and do the following. Start by moving around and occasionally stopping and aiming, headshotting a single dummy. Keep doing this until you can do it consistently. Once you can, start doing it again, but only give yourself one chance to get that headshot. This lets you start to develop the muscle memory to aim with the third person camera instead of aiming with the reticle afterwards. It's important to do this with both shoulders so you know what side you need to focus on when pre-aiming. If you're on the left shoulder, you would look primarily to the left side of your character's head, as that's where the camera would zoom in, and a lot of players find that position to be the most comfortable to use. The opposite would be true for the right shoulder, but it's important to be able to practice with both. After getting used to getting one shots while moving around and only aiming for a split second, start going around the map, repeating the process with every dummy on said map at various distances, and that's how you start to develop your aim, and you can start doing that more consistently. Now, as far as what skills you should be using, MGO has a lot of different weapon skills available in the game for each different weapon type, but they all generally do the same thing. They increase accuracy, reduce recoil, and make you reload faster. Reloading is always going to be useful, but as far as the other two categories, you can practice with the skill at least up to level 2. Going to level 3 is usually overkill unless you really need the help. And don't count them out, there's always a reason to use the weapon skills for one reason or another. If your shots are not landing for whatever reason because of the game's lag, you can always increase your weapon skill and you will be able to land your shots more accurately. This works wonders with SMGs, especially if you're having hit detection problems. Slap on SMG level 2 or 3 and you will have a much easier time landing shots, I guarantee it. As far as other weapons though, some weapons can benefit greatly from higher weapon skills, some don't. Sniper rifles, for example, I don't think benefit from sniper rifle skill that much. You can get increased accuracy by just shooting from an actual prone position as a sniper, and it basically gives you the same level of accuracy that you would if you just had sniper rifle 3. Even with sniper rifle 3, shooting the gun scoped in has significant recoil when standing compared to any other position. Shotguns, you get the increased pump action speed, which is very good if you want to do follow-up shots. And as far as other things like pistols, they kind of don't benefit all that much from it, unless you're using the Mark II pistol, in which case, yeah, the reload speed on that is going to be a godsend if you miss your shots. Wait, where did... Oh. There it is. I know this all sounds a little bit easier than it probably is, but MGO is all about 
developing muscle memory for certain things. There's animation cancels. There's certain maneuvers with the items that you can do to make them faster. You can cancel reloads. You can do certain maneuvers with CQC. You can mess around with your character's stances. But for aim, it's really important to be able to learn to aim without aiming, in a sense. And being able to do it quickly as possible. If you can land one shot, you'll get a kill. So that's why it's important to narrow down that split second decision making as soon as possible. Do that by doing the method I showed you before. There's probably other ways that other people practice, but that was the method that I used when I was trying to get better at the game. So give it a shot and let me know if you get better. And if you have your own methods on how to improve aim, please feel free to share them in the comments. I made this video very quickly while on vacation, so sorry if the quality is a little bit all over the place. I will be back to making regular videos, hopefully by next week. Till then, thank you all for watching, and I'll see you guys on the battlefield. Brian, can you stop blocking my bullets? No, thank you. Not the box. Do it, Luigi. Leave me alone. Leave me alone. No. <laughs> Let me. Yeah, sorry, everyone. I'm more afraid of fucking. <laughs> Oh, oh, I got it! <laughs>